prefer to keep my head clear this evening. Thank you. Of course. Well, it's a shame you've chosen this moment to abstain. Rare wine like this needs extra time to breathe. Did you notice the label? Uh, Look, Dr. No. <coughs> this wine <coughs> was so prized for its flavor <coughs> that Napoleon himself <coughs> ordered his conquering army <coughs> to spare the house, spare the vineyards and the people <coughs> in exchange for just one case of this wine. Are you all right, Doctor? Some water, please. Yes, yes, of course. <coughs> I suppose we're so accustomed to the layers of years that settled on this place <coughs> that we were here. <coughs> Slip their wrist and come into the cemetery after dark. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? You are, you're gonna kill me? Uh -huh. No. Okay, then who are you? And what are you doing taking me into this spooky place? Why am I here? What have you done? Why? One question at a time. Okay, fine. My name is Rafe. Kovich. Kovich? What are you saying? Are you and me? Me and you were sort of, like, related? Oh, my goodness. Does that mean you're a vampire, too? You think that's funny? <laughs> we're not related to vampires, cousin. We killed them. You're a vampire slayer. I'm a vampire... Slayer. Think again. I think you are wacko. You believe in vampires. For every evil in the world, there's a good to bring balance to God's creation. Caleb Morley and others like him were put on this earth to bring death and destruction. The very essence of evil. Our family exterminates them. Okay, so what you're saying is the Kovich clan is sort of a roach motel for the undead? Something like that. Good. Good good for us. Bully for us. So, Swell, I'm going to see you at the next family reunion. The watermelon fried chicken talk. Oh, hang on. Just hear me out, okay? Your abilities, cousin. The Kovich gifts pass through our bloodline. Gifts? Powers. Well, um, I am extremely intuitive, and I, I know I am a little psychic. More than a little. And there's a lot more to it than intuition. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just say I go with you on that. And maybe I even go with you that we're family. But I don't think I can believe we're a family of vampire stakers. Slayers. Slayers, right. Okay, you see, I'm the kind of gal that you have to, like, I, I gotta see it with my own eyes. You know, I need proof, like fireworks. Fireworks? Yes, I'm not the kind of girl that just fell, up the, fell off that darn garlic truck yesterday, you know? Okay, bear with me. You say you... As you do. Then show me. I mean, tell me one. Like, like, give me an example. Can I, can I leap over tall buildings in a single bound? Oh, you want tricks. Yes, I want, I want something. I want proof. Just show me something that means I can... Okay, this is the, I'm gonna stare at her until she gets nervous trick. Very good. No. I do need... Proof. Wait a minute, did you just... Did she say something? No, you didn't. No trick, cousin. We don't need our voices to talk to each other. You, you're... How did you get your voice inside my head? Just the beginning. We are. I mean, you're, this is... For real, we are... We're family, we're related? The last of the Kovaches. The last? What? What do you mean, the last? As far as I know. Wait a minute. I was able to stop Caleb because... Be Say it. Because I'm a vampire slayer? Yes. And a powerful one. Oh, powerful! Powerful! I, I have powers. Oh, I, 
I want to know my power. Tell me at least, uh, give me a power. Come on, a power. I want to know, please. There may be time for that later. No, no. You see, I'm not a patient person. I, I need now, like one teeny power now. Just one. Priorities, cousin. Right now, what we need is to get you and your traveling companion somewhere safe so James Richfield doesn't try and kill you again. James Richfield? Wait a minute. He, James told me that he saved my life. He was lying? As always, cousin. I'm the one who saved you. James Richfield wants you dead. Answer that, not even telepathically. I should have known. I mean, I mean, Richfield works for the Morleys. The Morleys are vampires. Why didn't I see this? Because I'm supposed to be a. I am. I'm a vampire. I am a vampire slayer. And James, being the protector of his masters, the Morleys. He wanted me dead. So his little invitation to Kappa, they creepy, was a whole trap the whole time. Oh, right. I'm a doctor. Doc, Doc is there. We gotta go. We gotta get him out of there. He's all alone. Rescuing you is my priority. Rescuing Doc is my top priority. We gotta get him out of there while we can. I'm afraid it's too late for that. You just come. You're a fool to lock us in here. Everyone we know knows where we are. I doubt the town of Port Charles knows or cares where you are, but you're about to become one of our town's unsolved mysteries. Listen, whatever those Morleys are paying you, we can triple it, if not more. Of course, this is a bribe. You think me a common criminal? Ah, uh, you're holding us hostage, aren't you? Well, that implies I'm seeking a ransom. Oh, enough with the riddles. What do you want? This is a chance for me to rid the world of the last of the Coviches. And here I thought you were a civilized man. These people haven't done anything to you. Well, personally, no. Mortal enemies? Yes. The war between us began centuries ago. There have been many casualties. On both sides? Not today. Score one for the vampires. Oh, but you aren't a vampire. You, you're a human being just like us. Not exactly like you, my dear. Fine. But why turn on your own kind? Why would you do that? Vampires are superior to humans. Superior in every way. I would do anything to be one of the chosen. Then why don't you do it? Why don't you have one of your little bat boys bite you? <laughs> oh, I wish. No, but my lot in life is to serve. You know, since the beginning of time, humans have searched, yearned, for eternal life. But only vampires have achieved it. At what cost? Sucking the life out of others. Do you think you're any different? Simple-minded humans wish to kill vampires because they fear not being at the top of the food chain. And you fear losing your little pitiful job. Losing. Caleb is dead. He's dead. Bat Boy is out of commission. And you have just lost your job. Master Caleb is not dead. He's as alive as you are. And Doctor, he plans to take a bride. You're wrong. Caleb's dead. Many have tried to destroy him. All have failed. Caleb always survives. If that bastard you call Master even touches my daughter, I swear, I promise you, I'll warn her he's alive. Oh, I'm certain she knows by now. I'll kill you! You must take a more positive view of what's transpired. Your daughter will now have everything she's ever wanted as Caleb's bride. And think about the babies. Oh, well, there's a breath in me. Well, that's the not-so-positive side of your predicament. Soon you will be quite breathless. Thank <laughs> you. 